I'm Nancy Lindborg. I'm currently the president of the United States Institute of Peace. It, it started shortly after I got my degree and graduated into a terrible economy, and it seemed like a really good un idea, a really good time as an unencumbered young graduate to go overseas. And I was unable to make the commitment to Peace Corps, so I just launched to Nepal for a trek, met some people, was offered a job. I ended up staying there almost three years. I spent 14 years with Mercy Corps from the time when it was still a relatively small organization uh, to when it grew to be a global organization in 40 countries, uh, more than $300 million, and it's continued to grow since my departure. But it was an interesting trajectory uh, of growing a very small organization into a global presence while maintaining a very nimble, agile, very entrepreneurial spirit. The humanitarian field has had incredible evolution in the past 20 years. You know, it has evolved from what used to be seen as the domain of volunteers, people who, out of the goodness of their hearts, would go out and deliver food and assistance, to a much more professionalized effort that understands that you really need to have uh, a host of skills and you need to understand the complexity of the environments. And increasingly, the complexity of the places where we work demand that we understand how to work in a more complex ecosystem and not be siloed into a particular expertise so that you miss the larger context in which you're working. And that requires everything from security training to understanding the particular geopolitics of the place where you're working to having the leadership and the management. As you're looking at what are the skill sets that you need to be effective uh, in the humanitarian field, in large or small organizations, you really need to pull skills from a variety of sectors. I don't think there's one answer that says, oh, well, a business person might be the best, or, oh, an anthropologist. You, know, you need both to have an assembly of those skills present in your organization, including a lot of good logistics and finance, and then whatever technical expertise, whether it's health or um, agricultural understanding. When you move into a leadership position, you definitely need to have the leadership and management skills. I think these are acquirable. You can layer that on to any number of backgrounds, but at some point in your career, you will need to stop and think about it. One of the big challenges for a lot of humanitarian organizations and all of us who do that work is we don't necessarily have that business management leadership background. And if you have a large multi-site international organization, you really need to have a very finely honed set of skills. There is the additional challenge of bridging the kind of learning that happens in an academic setting with the application of that in what are often really hard, tough, uh, fast-paced field environments. And so the challenge is to create some more of these experiential learning opportunities, um, training on the job, giving people an opportunity to step away uh, for a time to reflect and refresh and then go back in. And to do that, we need to be thinking differently about how we work across sectors. We are constrained by our bureaucracies, by our technical sectors. And we need to harness technology, we need to harness new ways of thinking and working together so that we've got a more systemic understanding of the ecosystem in which we're working.